I was particularly uh, impressed by, by what you had to say concerning uh, the north-south relationship in Europe, which, uh, unless it goes really well, can only go really badly and generate a lot of populism. And uh, I want to praise you and uh, the efforts that you have deployed in this direction, of which I've been a very interested counterpart also when I visited you uh, in Helsinki and tried to reach out uh, to the um, Finnish parliament, the Finnish public opinion, to explain what Italy was and what Italy was trying to do. Um, could, could not the leaders of uh, the uh, member states of the European Union <coughs> try to do a bit more, particularly before the European elections, precisely targeting this objective. For example, I know that uh, you, the heads of states and governments, are all extremely busy, but some joint appearances of a prime minister of a northern country and the yeah. prime minister of a southern country, both in the south and in the north, I think would be extremely uh, revealing to the respective peoples of uh, the complexities that are there, but also of the willingness that there is there to overcome prejudices and uh, come to solutions. Uh, for example, if, uh, if many Italians, even, even more than today, but through the press they will get the echo of what you said this morning, um, came to understand better the Nordic notion of fairness and the Nordic, the Nordic leaders could understand uh, even better the southern notion of solidarity and what is solidarity in fact, uh, what is not really solidarity but simply actions in the common interest. Uh, I think it would be great. So the question is, do you as uh, a very influential head of government uh, who sees these issues, um, do you intend to, to do even more and to propose to your colleagues that something could be done even before the European elections. Thank you very much. This is really interesting idea. Because I have noticed when you and, and other colleagues of mine have visited in Finland, there's been, uh, some colleagues have given a public speech to Finnish audience, for instance, to students or, or people who are interested in the future of Europe. And I have seen that it has had a positive impact to people's mind. Because if, if there is a guest from the other country who want to talk with you, who, who are telling how do he or she see the future of Europe or what is his or her interpretation of solidarity or or national responsibility, it helps us to sit down for a while and think and listen carefully and, and kind of, uh, it, it increases the trust, mutual trust. Um, I'm, I'm really worried about this uh, sentiment, what we have at the moment. Uh, populism is populism. It's, a, it, it's quite a nasty way doing politics and because uh, populists are trying to get political power by telling simple stories or giving simple answers to complicated uh, questions. If people accept this, it's up to people. In democracy, it goes like this. But it's another thing. But more I'm worried about the, the sense of unfairness in different parts of Europe. Because uh, if this grows, um, then we lose the legitimacy of the European integration. If people, I mean, it's a, it's a fair feeling if somebody feels that this is not fair. We, we cannot say that you are wrong. Your, your, sen your sense or, or your, your thinking is wrong. We just have to say that, okay, why do you feel like this? And, and we as a politicians, we have to, we have to be open, open to talk about the issues, why somebody feels Europe unfair. I'm not saying that everybody feels that Europe is unfair, but there is some, some uh, 
there is also this kind of thinking in some extent in Europe, uh, at least according to my own, own experiences when I've been visiting in, in different countries. <coughs> and Mario, Mario Monti's proposal that, that we, the European Council members, we should do something to this kind of uh, visit, visit in our in, in, in the other countries and try to understand, give interviews, meet people, students, other people, and talk about it. It could be one concrete way to, to tackle this sense of unfairness and increase the legitimacy towards the European project. This cannot, we cannot say uh, trust anymore that the elite can, can just say that we need more Europe. If people don't follow us, then it's a problem. And now we have to take seriously this, uh, this uh, sentiment. Because this is the best way to tackle the populism also. If people feel ownership to the, uh, to the European project, then the uh, there is less and less room for populism if populism comes from the European, uh, European integration policy.